good to you, know how to record it. My name is Doug Smith. I'm uh, one of the adjunct professors for the CE200 lab. Today we're out here learning how to use a total station. It actually reads horizontal angles, vertical angles, and actually has what's called uh, EDM, which is electronic distance measuring device. It's capable of reading, I think this particular unit is capable of reading about a five second arc angle. It actually is capable of reading about a two millimeter distance, uh, plus or minus a little bit. It's the most use, used instrument by a surveyor today. Uh, they are getting into GPS related or RTK, uh, real time kinetic type equipment, which the lab does have and it has some very nice equipment. But uh, this is still the most used everyday piece of equipment that a surveyor will use out there today. It's the first time using the equipment, so it's a little, a little new for them. But uh, by hopefully by the end of the semester, they'll be making topo maps. Civil engineers actually usually hire surveyors to create what's called base maps to make all of their actual design work on. And that's actually what I am. I work for DAB Surveying. I'm a licensed land surveyor, and I come in and actually teach all the different civil engineering students how to use some of the equipment that surveyors use, trying to make them a little bit knowledgeable on the type of work that a surveyor does, and also give them a little bit of insight on whether or not maybe some civil engineers might actually be interested more in actually going out and doing the actual field work rather than actually sitting in the office and drawing up some of the design. Uh, why do people want surveys? Uh, if you're buying a house, you want to know what your property dimensions are, are and where your house is on your property, you'll need one. If you want to, say, build a new house on a piece of vacant property, we go out and we'll map out a geography of the land. We'll usually give that to a civil engineer. A civil engineer will take a house design that you particularly like, they'll lay it on top of the property, and they'll come up with a grading plan. And then uh, once that gets approved by a town, then they'll hand it back to the surveyor. The surveyor will actually go out and put stakes in the ground for a contractor to actually dig a hole or whatever, so he puts the house in the correct spot on the property. We also do things for flooding. We actually go around and we check elevations of people's floors and heights based on flood elevations on like a 100-year flood, so we can verify whether or not someone's actually going to lose all their material goods. It's used for flood insurance. Uh, when you're buying a piece of property, we make maps so that you can find out if people are encroaching on your property. But it's just a hands-on, CE200 is just a hands-on lab where everyone gets to use and play with the equipment that surveyors actually use in everyday practical life.